time. Oh, God. <laughs> Good evening, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Chris Bean, the director of the Cornby Polytechnic Drama Society. And I'm delighted to be able to present to you this evening an extract from the murder at Haversham Manor, my directorial debut. <laughs> We're thrilled to be presenting this piece because, as you can see, we've managed to secure a much larger budget than usual. So we'll certainly be able to outshine our rather underfunded 2021 production of Joseph Stein's classic, Fiddler on the Porch. <laughs> or, or a Christmas production of Come From Down the Street. <laughs> or, or our summer musical. Yeah. Anyway, on to the main event. So <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for it. <laughs> his pulse. Charles, God, what a horror. <laughs> There's no question he's passed away. I'm oh. dumbfounded. He was right as rain an hour ago. But who on earth would want to murder him? He was so kind, so generous, a true philanthropist. <laughs> we must telephone the police, Perkins. Inspector Carter is already on his way, although I imagine it'd be quite difficult getting here in this snowstorm. Okay. <laughs> Where is he? My brother, my... Oh. <laughs> uh, my brother dead? Can't be. He always tried to hide it, but I believe his depression must have finally overcome him. I believe it was suicide! <laughs> It's true. His smile was merely a bouquet. <laughs> and now, now, Mr. Haversham, do you think there might have been someone with the means, the motivation to kill Charles? Nonsense! Wah! <laughs> <laughs> So, any ideas as to the cause of death, Inspector? Could be a number of things. Strangulation, suffocation, poison. Until I've had a chance to fully examine the body, I wouldn't like to say. How could someone do it? Try not to think about it. As soon as I get the body up. I can't bear it. I can't 
episodes. Snap out of it. Oh You're God. hysterical. <laughs> Miss Collymore, where are you going? Come back here this instant. <laughs> She's run off. <laughs> I'll go and fetch her. Cecil, you stay here with Inspector Carter. He may have some questions for you. You were a child's brother, after all. So, do you have any questions for me, Inspector? Yes. <laughs> yes. Your brother. Did you get along well? <laughs> Up and down, really? There's a lot of strain on our relationship after father died. It certainly was no secret that father cared for Charlie more oh than my myself. <laughs> I see. This is your father in the portrait, is it not? It is. <laughs> it is, yes. <laughs> Looks a bit of Charles, doesn't he? Ever since he was quite young, yes. <laughs> You were his junior by four years. Almost four. Didn't I know it? <laughs> Charlie would embarrass and patronize me through our entire childhood. He always thought he knew best and father always took his side. If he ever <laughs> If he ever If he ever didn't get away, it was unbearable. <laughs> he sounds far from the ideal brother. In fact, it sounds like you hated one another. Oh my god. I won't lie, Inspector! Charlie and I had our differences. We always didn't see eye to eye, but if you're insinuating I had something to do with this murder, you're mistaken. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a dark night, Inspector. Chris! Chris! Ah! <laughs> you can't even make up the trees. What are you saying, Inspector? I'm saying that tonight would be a perfect night for you to murder your brother. Inspector, please. Charlie and I had our differences. Deep down inside, we care for one another. But you had an affair with his fiance. An affair? How did you even know about I, that? I, that has nothing to do with Charlie's murder. I think you murdered him. 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 I Thank <laughs> you.